this is a very unique kind of feeling for fan people. That time you sit in the van that you've purchased and uh, look around at the possibilities and the challenges and go, what have I done? Oh. And uh, this old buggy is solid, but she's got some issues. Some of them I can't quite get my head around. They're a little, a little deeper than uh, my knowledge base. So it's all a little bit scary. But for the price and how solid the truck is and what the market is, and um, it's getting impossible to find uh, anything small uh, box truck or cargo van that's in decent shape and any kind of good price so it's on those bases um, this rig wins but it's still scary it's got a weird kind of vibration somewhere in the drivetrain but the transmission's just been out the torque converter's been replaced u joints replaced it does have, uh, he said, bigger tires than uh, were uh, stock, and they are very knobby, very aggressive. But I don't know if it's tires. Mind you, it, 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 it doesn't, like, it's, there, it's not there when the engine is just sitting there um, idling. It is uh, once you're rolling. And... It's there even if you uh, if you're rolling if you're driving down the road and you put it in neutral and you're coasting drive shaft or something something is just a little wacky and that's the one of course that bothers me the most everything else is like secondary systems the guy that originally owned this van put more aftermarket stickers and pinstripes and fog lights and just as though this van didn't already have enough. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's really cool. I would love to, um, or at least I, I say this, I mean, go, going down the road, she grabs plenty of wind. But um, I would love to, uh, I figured out, so it, it, it gives, you have about 62 inches uh, so it's like 5'2", I think, and I'm about 5'10"-ish. So if you could get 5'11", 5'12", for standing height in here, then um, that would be even better. But then you're get, you're going to be grabbing that extra 10 inches of wind going down the road. So I'm thinking either building a spacer, uh, if I ever do that, building a spacer, so that I can cut this fiberglass top off at the where it joins. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably screwed on, and um, and put a spacer in there, a 10 inch spacer, and then put the roof back on. Or if I do come into a, a top that fits this that already has that extra 10 10 inches, then that's probably the easier thing if it's uh, shaped right for this van. But, uh, yeah, all bigger decisions than I have to worry about right now. Right now, I just want to <laughs> rip, like, there's just a total spaghetti mess of, of uh, auxiliary switches and it's just an absolute spaghetti of uh, wires uh, hanging out of there. You can't even quite get your fingers to the fuse box. And my friend who I bought it from, actually, when he was taking it to his place um, for me to pick up, um, touched something or did something and a fuse blew, or he says he thinks it's a fuse because this, this whole um, secondary power system went down as well as the power seat, the driver's seat. So I drove home with my um, winter coat uh, jam behind my back because it was a little bit far back, but it's okay. So Yeah, not much not much rust around A couple little spots nothing too major certainly very clean for for this area 
Nova Scotia. Got the old TV in there. Anyway, I'll probably do a better tour of this thing. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of a weird, interesting feeling to be uh, sitting in a land yacht like this and thinking, hmm, it's going to be a big, long job. But you got to kind of look at it like um, it's fun. Pick away at it. Try not to think about the expense. <laughs> Uh, anyway, oh, I should get some sleep so I can think clearly tomorrow. I didn't even pay him yet, he just signed it over and gave it to me. And uh, because he's that kind of guy, and uh, so I actually have to pay him tomorrow and, um, and then try and get my head around what I've purchased. Oh. All these windows. Now Foresty, he's got the right, Foresty Forest got the right rig. It's industrial looking, but it's still a window vehicle. And so it's kind of the best of both worlds. This thing just looks like a pleasure machine and it's got pleasure style windows all over it. So this thing will likely never reach stealth status. <laughs> but, um, but it's a solid truck, so, and my options are limited, so I, might just have to make do with it. Anywho, later. Subscribe.